Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for September 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to give a big old shout out to all the Virgos out there. Very, very happy birthday to you. We are officially in Virgo season as far as Western astrology is concerned. And I want to give a shout out to the September Libras. Yes, very happy birthday to you guys as well. So please keep in mind that these are general readings. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to look into your own personal situation please go ahead and email me all the information is in the description box below yeah so for those of you that are new I want to give you a little bit of insight as to these readings on my channel these are not really specific to anything obviously we are doing this by sign but this is not love or career specific okay this is you could think of this as just the the messages that spirit has for you uh, having a conversation or a discussion with spirit about what is going on in your life at this time also keep in mind that just because these are dated for september of 2019 these readings are meant to be timeless yeah so whenever this resonates for you if it's in september if it's after september of 2019 please just take that message if it resonates for you at that time then that's the message for you at this time i i am speaking to the zodiac sign in question here but as a cross watcher you know this could be something that resonates for you as well if you are watching for someone uh, if you're cross watching for someone yeah I would love it if you guys would follow me if you're not already doing so on Instagram you can find me at divine underscore conversations you can also find me on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711 if you would like to book a personal reading with me please just email me um, Instagram would be a good uh, other another option you know to to choose um, but Facebook is not a good option. Like I, I even mentioned this in my video last month. Um, I rarely check my Facebook messages. I don't always get them right away also. So if you're trying to get a reading with me, the best bet is to just find my email address in the description box below and email me there. I also have all of the readings that I offer and their prices and descriptions listed in the description box below. So if you would like a reading, please read through that and then email me. Again, Instagram is a good alternative, but that always isn't the most reliable, okay? The, your best bet, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, is to just email me, okay? With that said, I guess we're ready, so let's get to it. <laughs> hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for September 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So just two quick things before we get started. One, you might hear a bunch of construction and noise going on from outside. They, have, they are doing construction. They, re, they tore down a building and now they're rebuilding. They're, they're fixing up the lot to start rebuilding again. So it gets pretty noisy at times, so I apologize for that. Also, you're probably going to hear me sniffling a number of times blah 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 my allergies uh, are being really not too awesome right now <laughs> okay so I'm gonna try and keep that to a minimum but yeah I mean I, there's only so much I can do all right so let's get into your reading so it's interesting Pisces because as I was channeling for you um, I was starting to channel your energy and it's like you were being very elusive like a fish you know you felt like it was it felt like it was in good you were you're in a good place um, energetically I, I didn't feel any up uh, uh, unrest any turmoil or anything you felt you feel very peaceful but as far as communicating wanting to talk what was coming through what needed to come through it, it took a second like you were being elusive okay but then eventually you know you came around and the, <laughs> the first card that came out is the six of swords and right after that it was followed by the three of swords okay so i feel like i i, I feel like you're at a point right now pisces where you are in the process of manifesting something new in terms of what you've learned in the heartbreak from the past. And if you have a situation in which something is manifesting or someone is coming through or something like that, um, you have an opportunity to learn, okay, and to decipher what it is you want versus what you don't want, Seven of Cups. There also might be some emotional baggage that you need to deal with right now that you're working on dealing with, that you're working on moving on from. Okay, Six of Swords. Uh, with the Three of Swords here, this is heartbreak. This could be love. This could be, I'm hearing a marriage for someone. This could be unrequited love situation. This could be anything. It doesn't have to just be love. It's whatever it would be heartbreaking to you. 
okay? I do, I definitely do feel like you're moving on, Pisces. Absolutely, you are absolutely 100% moving on. And you're very, you're moving, I feel like you're moving on very confidently. It's, all, it's as if you are finally over or you're finally over something or you're finally at a point where you can get yourself fully 100% completely over it. And I do feel like you are manifesting something in, in relation to the contrast that you experienced. The contrast being what you want in a relationship or a situation or what you want in your life versus what you don't. Re regardless of what the situation or the circumstances are, I do feel like you are at the you have an opportunity to under have a greater understanding of what it truly is that you do what it is you truly want to experience in your life versus what type of energies that you don't want in your life. That's, that's really great, Pisces. That's really, really great. And I feel like this is something that has been hard for you to get to. This is a place that has been hard for you to get to. Very much so. And it's just because of your nature. I feel like it's your loving, your caring, your inclusive, nurturing nature that has made this hard for you, made this a difficult transition to, I want to say accept, because I do feel like you've made, at this point, you've made a conscious decision to move on and create something new. And it was tough. It was really tough for you to get to this point where you could consciously look at yourself in the mirror and say, fuck this, we're going in a new direction. Good for you, Pisces. Good for you. All right. Let me give you one more shuffle, just to reset. All right, here we go, spirit. Let's get into it, guys. Hi, spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for all Pisceans, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of September 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Pisces, I'm giving this five shuffles. Now, I am definitely seeing some purple energy for you. Wisdom, insight, understanding, universal knowledge, okay? Uh, clarity, uh, intuition, psychic ability. Beautiful. You're definitely, you're very much awake and aware right now, Pisces. I will say that. This is number three. From a Piscean's sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I'm also seeing yellow, um, which often happens when I'm channeling and doing, that was three, doing readings for people because it can represent clarity. But for you specifically, I think it represents your own form of clarity. Like, I think you're very, you're very much, you're seeing things very clearly right now. And it may have been a long time coming for you to get here. Four. And a five. Form of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2019. Boop. All right, Pisces. Overall energy. Ah, looky here. The Seven of Cups again. Wow. This is not a bad thing, Pisces. You are in a transitional period where you have a strong opportunity, a really, really valuable and important opportunity to clear away some of the mess, to finally get some understanding under your belt surrounding the emotions that you're feeling. The nature of why you are feeling the way you have, have been feeling. The reasons as to why you have been feeling what, what you've been feeling. What exactly it is that you are feeling that you have been feeling. Okay? <laughs> there could be some confusion. There could be. Because the Seven of Cups does represent confusion in some cases. I just don't feel that's the strongest element for you. right? I don't feel like that's... 
I don't I really don't feel like you're that confused at all. It just feels like there's a lot in front of you that you're needing to understand. Come to an understanding of. Now, you could have been very confused in the past and now you are seeing things clearer. Now you're making sense of the things that you may have been confused about in the past. All right. Excellent. Which is allowing you to move forward with that Six of Swords energy that came out in the pre-shuffle. Underneath the Seven of Cups, you have the King of Cups. Uh, Scorpio energy. This also could be you or another Cancerian. Well, or a Cancerian, not another Cancerian, because we're talking to Pisces here. <laughs> um, I, I really, honestly, I feel like this is you, though, because I just heard emotional understanding, emotional maturity. There may be some sort of responsibility that you're taking. You may be, you may be in an energy of really taking control or taking responsibility for your emotions, taking the reign over your emotions, and then acting from a place of emotional intelligence and emotional integrity and maturity. Excellent. Whereas in the past, you may not have been able to do this because of the Seven of Cups energy. Underneath the King of Cups, oh shit, the Queen of Cups. Wow. Yeah, this definitely is emotional maturity. It's as, it's, it's as if with this Queen of Cups energy, you've done a lot of work to get control over your emotions. And now from the King of Pentacles, King, King of, not King of Pentacles, King of Cups energy, from the King of Cups point of view, now there's t action and integrity and intelligence being put into this. And maturity. Now, this also is Cancer. The, the Queen of Cups is a Cancerian energy. But again, I still feel like this is you, Pisces. Underneath the Queen of Cups, the Two of Wands. Yep. This absolutely also is a balance between masculine and feminine energy, but it also could be masculine and feminine counterparts coming together. But also, keeping in terms of like your reading here, Pisces, this could just be the balance of masculine and feminine energy within you that's allowing you to move in a new direction. Two of Wands. I do feel like you are at a crossroads in a certain to a certain extent. And so now with this balance emotionally here of we'll say maturity, integrity, and intuition, you're about to make a choice as to which direction you want to move in. Very nice, Pisces. All right. Getting into the rest of your reading here, first half, second half of the reading. You could look at it as first half, second half of the, of the month. I recommend you look at it as first half, second half of the reading because time is an illusion, energies are fluid, and these messages are just going to be intertwining all over the place. But if it does resonate as first half, second half of the month, please, by all means, take it. Yes? First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Pisces. You have the tower. Scorpio energy. Uh, really, the only thing I want to say <laughs> with this is change is good. That's what I just heard. Change is good. I really do feel like this is, this is you making change in your life. You deciding to change something drastically. The tower is coupled with, yes, judgment. It's like you, you received some sort of wake-up call that is now influencing you to make a major, major change in your life. This could be a major change in some sort of relationship status. One of the things that's coming through the most right now is that um, you could be changing how you approach a relationship, the type of relationship you go after, the type of people that you go after, the type of relationships that you manifest. There could be a connection that you've had with someone for a very long time that has been keeping you stuck. And now you, are, you finally have gotten the message, heard the wake up call, stop pressing the snooze button or something, and now you're waking up and making a big change in your life. Okay, that's beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces. You have, wow, the lovers. Ooh, 
we really could be talking about some sort of divine partnership here. Counterparts. You do have the king and the queen of cups. And now you have the lovers. You could be connecting with a Gemini. Um, I, I'm really just getting that major change is happening. Also, with the lovers here, you could be making a decision from a place of virtue rather than vice. So, like, going back to what I was talking about, like, relationship-wise, maybe your heart has been calling you to go in a different direction, but you have been choosing vice, meaning the, 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 the opinions, the thoughts, the beliefs, the desires of other people over your own. And now I really do feel like you're changing and choosing you choosing what is best for you to move in a different direction that's better for you Pisces that's really nice you could some of you absolutely could have some sort of divine partnership sprouting budding making its way into your existence but that also comes when you balance yourself when you find wholeness within yourself when you integrate the masculine and feminine energies within you okay the lovers is coupled with the high priestess. Ooh, they just said divine union. It's as if you're allowing the universe to move this forward for you. <laughs> but it's also a sense of higher wisdom, understanding, intuition even, that is allowing you to make this decision. I mean, Pisces, you have a massive change that's happening for you right now. Look at, you have all this major arcana in your, in your surrounding energies of the first half of your reading. All four of them are major arcana. This is big. I, I'm definitely hearing that you are coming into union, whether this is union within yourself or this is union externally. But if it's union externally, then that means that you have a sense of union already within. Okay. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Pisces, the seven of wands, standing your ground. I'm hearing maintaining your partnership and your union within, not allowing anybody to sway you from the path that you're walking, from the new path that you're moving on, moving towards. The seven of wands is coupled with the three of swords. Whoa. There's the Three of Swords again. The challenge, Pisces, is to not let the heartbreak of the past creep back in. And I'm kind of seeing, because what I'm seeing here is this person, this individual uh, defending, fending off, you know, the Three of Swords energy. But there is an, there is a chance that you could be stuffing your feelings down. We're not asking you to stuff your feelings down, but we're asking you to create a boundary between the past hurts that you, are, you have healed or come out of and the new direction that you're moving in. Don't let, do not let the pain from the past creep into this situation, creep into your new reality, your new cycle, okay? Do what you do, need to do to work on healing and closing that out as much as you can now. Do not hesitate. Do not procrastinate. Do it now. Get it over with so that you can fully move forward, okay? Your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Pisces, you have. Yes, the fool. Starting embarking on a new journey here taking a leap of faith, going in a new direction, doing what is right for you. The fool is coupled with, oh, the devil. Woo, chow. Capricorn energy, potentially. I do feel like you're leaving the devil behind. You're leaving some sort of toxicity, some sort of narcissism, toxic relationships. You're leaving all of that behind and you're moving in a new direction. What you're moving towards is the lovers. If you can see here, you see how you see where the fool is facing? The fool is facing this way, and what's over here? 
the lovers, the antithesis, the exact opposite of the devil. So whereas you may have been chained in a toxic codependent relationship in the past, no more. You're moving away from that and embarking on a brand new journey. Look at all of this major arcana, Pisces. Six so far, just in the first half of your reading. This is beautiful, Pisces. Now, there also may be some sort of fear and apprehension. Don't let the devil get you down. Don't let the past creep back in. Don't let the past contaminate the new. Deal with what you need to deal with now. Okay? Don't let it carry over. And once you have dealt with it, make sure that you're not allowing it to affect you anymore. Okay? Second half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces. The King of Pentacles. Uh, Taurus energy. Could be Capricorn or uh, Virgo. This could be a divine counterpart for you. Hmm. King of Pentacles is coupled with ha ha, the Five of Cups. I feel honestly though, Pisces, what I feel like is this is someone else. This isn't you. This could be a masculine counterpart. This could be a masculine energy. This could be someone that is very well manifested, very well rooted, but kind of feels like they are physically, materially, financially oriented. Like they are, they are overly focused on the material. And now that you're moving on, it feels like they're regretting feeling like they've missed out. Of course, this could be you too, <clears throat> all right? This could be the individual that gave you, that, that, that provided some sort of unrequited love in a situation. It could be an earth sign, but it could just be someone that's very just, well, masculinely oriented is what I heard, but also just very materially ori oriented. Maybe this is someone that was, you know, maybe this is someone that was a little bit of a gold digger and they didn't really give you much attention because you didn't have that status that they wanted. Or maybe they were this individual, but they didn't value as love, uh, love and emotion as much as you do, and so thus, either way, it didn't work out, but all is not lost because there are still two cups standing. And I really do feel like these two cups right here, Pisces, would be your integrity, would be indicative of this king and queen of cups energy that you have in the top of your reading here, okay? This person missed out, big time, Pisces. Whether they realize it now or not, in time, they probably will. This person missed out. Or maybe you missed out. Who knows? I'm hearing unrequited love situation. So take it as it resonates. Maybe you were the one that was holding back your love because you were way too physically oriented, financially oriented, whatever. Maybe you are the one that missed out. Maybe they are the one that missed out. Either way, somebody missed out. <laughs> but all is not lost, okay? Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Pisces, you have, I told you, all is not lost. There's that Ace of Pentacles. A brand new start, a brand new opportunity. It has everything to do with this tower energy that is catalyzing the appearance of something new. Ace of Pentacles is coupled with Temperance. Okay, so a new, uh, something is coming. A new passionate start, I'm hearing, is coming. It could be with a Sagittarian. But you need patience. Time is of the essence, because I feel like it's still kind of coming together. But something new is about to be offered here. 
whether you're the one offering or someone else is offering, maybe you're starting a new job, a new career, or it's just you know a new physical beginning, a new physical start to your life. If in love, it could be a new offer, okay? A new individual to get to know. But I'm hearing stay patient, all right? You need to stay patient. I'm hearing Mariah Carey's Love Takes Time. I just heard that. Stay patient. Because love takes time. I didn't, uh, I don't know. I don't want to be here. Oh, God. All right, stop. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um, yeah, stay patient. But I feel like there's some sort of offer either being extended, coming towards you. Maybe you are offering something, a start, a new, a brand new start, basically. It makes perfect sense because here you are with the fool in the closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading. OK, so your challenge now for, uh, you got ah four of pentacles letting go. Could the challenge be saving up some money? to embark on a new journey, to move somewhere, to go somewhere, to do something. Yeah, that feels that feels like it could work. Four of Pentacles is coupled with Ah ha ha Death. <laughs> Scorpio energy. But yeah, the challenge is letting go and allowing change transformation to happen. I don't feel like you're going to have too much of a problem with that. I don't. Because I feel like you're already in that mode of making some sort of change. But that doesn't mean it's going to be completely 100% easy. And I do feel like for some of you, what this actually might be saying is you need to let go of some sort of controlling tendencies in order to allow this opportunity to come forward, to come to fruition with this Ace of Pentacles and Temperance, okay? Closing message or potential outcome in the last second half of your reading here. You got Page of Pentacles. There you go. Brand new start. New commitment, new energy, new level. Level up. Page of Pentacles is coupled with, hey now, the Queen of Wands. Confident, sexy, secure, magical. You could have a new opportunity with a fire sign, particularly an Aries, but maybe uh, Leo or Sagittarius as well. I do see you with the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands just in this new cycle of yours just <coughs> being way more confident than you may have been in the past and more magnetic, okay? And that's a beautiful thing. This could really could be what you're transforming into. And I feel like even though like for some of you, I'm feeling specifically that there was a relationship that you're moving out of or you're moving away from right now. Um, and even though it may have been a really tough, difficult thing for you to be in, to, it was a tough situation to deal with, it has made you so much stronger, so much better than you were before. And that's beautiful. So it really is like all the pain that you've been through associated with that situation, man, with the payoff that you're getting now just in your self-confidence and self-esteem, man, was it worth it. Beautiful. Beautiful, Pisces. I'm going to give this one last shuffle, and then we're going to get your oracle card to close out your reading, yes? All right. Here we go. Best message, please, spirit, from a Pisceans. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus to close. Oh, there it is. Card number 31. Trust yourself. Beautiful. Now I have that song stuck in my head. <laughs> okay, <laughs> here we go, Pisces. 
You are wise. You know how to grow, even without knowing how you know. Like the ancient forests, spectacular galaxies, and the acorn that becomes the oak, there is a natural intelligence for growth that is beyond logic and reason. It just happens. At the deepest levels, we are governed by this force so that, uh, that is so palpable, it literally shapes the world. At the same time, it is so invisible that sometimes we forget its presence and worry that our minds have to work everything out for life to happen and for us to be all right. We can become unnecessarily anxious about our affairs and how life will unfold. This oracle brings the message that you are growing. You really are. Don't doubt it. Even if you don't see it yet, remember that so much is happening when the seed is still unbroken in the ground. Below the earth, it is summoning up all the might, power, and force it needs to push above the topsoil and burst up into the light. It is essential for anything good to happen later on. Yet we don't see any of that. We just have to trust that things will happen when the time is right. You are also being asked to trust in yourself. You know how to grow. Don't overthink things. It won't help you. Don't worry so much. You are doing a great job in this game of life. When you trust yourself, you relax and you can heed your own wisdom, insight, and messages much more clearly and easily. This oracle comes with particular guidance. You have a big destiny this lifetime and much to experience. Sometimes you make the error of judging something that is unpleasant as negative or a mistake. It isn't. It's just part of your greater hunger for experience. It doesn't mean you have to have a lot of it, but when you do, don't shame yourself for it. Simply let it be. Maybe it's just fertilizer for your next step on your path. It's all part of your life process and it's all a sign of growth. This oracle is also telling you not to resist any points of instability in your life. This even applies to your most treasured relationships or creative projects. That instability is just a growing pain because more consciousness, more love, and more light wants to infiltrate and pervade all parts of your life. The instability is not a sign of sickness, but of growth. So don't fret. Instead, choose to flow and grow. So there you have it, Pisces. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the next reading for the month of October. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!